Let's look at an example. 202 take away 98. Firstly, why does it only work if the second number is close to a friendly number? Both of these numbers are close to friendly numbers. So what are we going to do? We're going to change the second number because if we change the first number, what we would end up with is a number with lots of zeros at the end. And when you write a subtraction vertically, it's easy to see that you're going to have to do lots of regrouping, which is not ideal. So we're not going to worry about the first number. When we are using the compensation strategy for subtraction, we are looking at the second number. Okay, so the second number in this one is 98. And in order to make that a friendly number, we're going to add 2 to turn it into 100. Now let's have a look at this bar diagram to help us understand how we're going to do this. So if I'm going to add 2 to the 98, it's easy to see with the bar diagram that we're going to have to do the same to the top number in order to make those bars equal. So this is different to what we do when we're using compensation for addition. When we're using compensation for subtraction, whatever we do to that second number, we need to do to the first number as well. So we've created 98 here plus 2 is 100. And we need to add 2 to this number as well for the compensation to work. So we've got 202 plus 2 is 204. And you can see that that's a much easier equation to work with. 204 take away 100 equals 104. So when we use the compensation strategy for subtraction, you must do the same to both numbers.